Welcome to Jasmine. How's everyone doing tonight? Yeah. <laughs> Please put your hands together for Kyle Poole at the drums. And Mr. Philip Norris on the bass.
Dziękuję, dziękuję. Oh, it's wonderful to be back here in Warsaw. Uh, I think the last time we were here was uh, July last year, and uh, we played outside um, in, the, in the town square. Um, but this is much more intimate. So, you know, this, and this is intimate music. So tonight we get a chance to know each other a little bit better. Um, <laughs> uh, I'll introduce you to these guys uh, very briefly <coughs> on the bass. Uh, New to our band, uh, within the last year, he comes from Raleigh, North Carolina. And uh, he's, he moved to New York about six years ago, got a couple of degrees at the Juilliard School of Music, and uh, quickly got eaten up by Wynton Marsalis and others. And he's, he's been on the road ever since. And uh, it's been a great joy to, to watch him ascend as a man, as a bass player, as a human being. Uh, <laughs> I guess we're all ascending until we're de descending, but uh, you know he's a considerable amount younger than me, so it it it, it actually breathes some some uh, new life. And I never thought I'd be like one of the older guys, which I know it's hard for some of you to hear that, but <laughs> compared to him, I feel like it. Uh, that's the one and only Mr. Philip Norris. playing the drums from Los Angeles, California, from South Central. Um, he, he made it to New York at 18 years old, and uh, we met down at Small's Jazz Club, and he was, he was down there doing just what you just heard him do, playing like that with a smile on his face, um, just lighting up the room, like just electric at 18 years old. And, then, and we got a chance to meet and started playing together a little bit, and not only started playing together, but became best friends. And uh, we spent a lot of years uh, touring America and the Midwest, sleeping on people's couches, you know, just playing any old gig for six people out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> and uh, and it's, it's, it's been a blessing. And then uh, he helped me, obviously, start uh, Live from Emmett's Place three years ago, which is actually this week. This is our anniversary. And. Uh, And he's contributed so much to the music world. And aside from just uh, being a drummer, he's also a brilliant producer. Um, I was trying to take a nap on the plane today, and he was like making beats on his beat maker. And I was like, Kyle, stop moving your arm. <laughs> I'm trying to get a nap. And he was just like, you know, he was feeling it. He was just dancing in the seat. And I was like, you know, I can't even be mad. I can't even be mad. Because um, this man is made of music. That's, that's Kyle Poole, ladies and gentlemen. Kyle Poole. <laughs> APC. <laughs> oh man, we like to have a good time. Um, yeah, <laughs> we, we just played a piece from our record, Future Stride, that was a tribute to a fantastic drummer who passed away far too soon, our requi requiem for Lawrence Leathers, that was called Toast to Low. And, uh, oh, okay, thanks Edmund. We got, a, we got a special fan here, Edmund, he comes, he comes everywhere in the world to just pop up in a different place. But I know where you live. You live in the, in the village. He lives in New York City. Um, we, we planted him here just in case no one. <laughs> we take him around, so if no one claps, at least we got him. <laughs> um, and we started with a, a, a tune that, that represents us uh, by, by name. It's called Young and Foolish. And. Uh, <laughs> We're going to continue now with uh, something that in the, in the <laughs> young and Polish. No, that's you. You're young and Polish. We're young and foolish. <laughs> that's a good one, though. I like it. Um, so I feel like I'm a stand-up comedian here in this club, right? <laughs> OK, we're going to play something uh, in the vein of, of an old pianist named Earl Hines. And this is uh, uh, something. Uh, he used to play, and a lot of the, the great pianists play this called La Rosita.
Thank you very much. That, uh, that last piece we just played was actually a Hebrew prayer entitled the Hatsi Kaddish and something uh, I recorded with Ron Carter upon realizing he had a Jewish middle name. <laughs> His middle name is Levin. Um, and that was, there was a story that goes along with that where he lived in the Great Depression. Everyone know who Ron Carter is? Yeah, for those of you who don't, the, the most recorded bassist in history, a, a mentor of ours, and uh, he grew up in Ferndale, Michigan, outside of Detroit, and uh, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> and uh, he, his, his parents raised him in the Depression, and, and he didn't, they didn't have enough money for medication, so they went to the pharmacist one day, and they said, you know, we don't have enough, enough money, but we really need this stuff, and the pharmacist said, you know, here it goes, take, take all the stuff, it's on me, no charge. And the family was so touched, they named him uh, their next born after the Jewish pharmacist. So I always hold that story near and dear. It's like little acts of kindness in the world like that that make such a difference for generations. <laughs> and uh, before that, we, we played something that's tribute to another Detroiter. That was Mr. Barry Harris. And uh, he, he used to always play that heart and soul and uh, we miss him dearly, and uh, we honor him with that. And uh, we're going to play one more. That, uh, we're doing a, a, a short first set and then a medium second set. So um, <laughs> that's the way the rules work here. <laughs> uh, but one more time, how about for the great Kyle Poole on drums? And on the bass fiddle, that's Mr. Philip Norris. Uh, like I mentioned before, uh, we started a live stream TV show, basically, from my living room. Um, and that, that celebrated its three-year anniversary this week. And it's hard to believe we've been doing it for th three whole years. We've done 105 two-hour concerts in the house. Uh, it's kind of like our version of a Tiny Desk concert. And uh, we did the last one last, last week with Kurt Rosenwinkel. Uh, and so all different kinds of different musicians have come in up to age 93. And I live on a five floor walk up with, uh, with a lot of stairs too. So Sheila Jordan, another Detroiter, made it up that. Um, but anyway, this is a, uh, we're gonna close out with a piece that I wrote in that, in that period. Um, in the pandemic period, so if you think about it, we're in the roaring 20s, again, 100 years later, doing a Harlem rent party, just like they did Fats Waller, and James P. Johnson, Willie the Lion, all those guys. We're doing that updated, just a virtual version, inviting everyone into our house, and it's been an incredible way to connect with, with people all over the world, and uh, now that we're able to get back on the road again, it's extremely meaningful, too, to, to meet so many people who feel like they've been in our living room. Um, so this is a piece, a tribute to that. Uh, this is an original composition entitled Spillin' the Tea. Thank you all. We'll see you after.
Kyle Poole, Kyle Poole on the drums, Philip Norris on the bass, yours truly Emmett Cohen. We'll be right back, thank you. <laughs> 